Hi, welcome to Biostock. Alligator Bioscience is off to a hot start here in 2023. With several advancements in the clinic, now the company is carrying out a rights issue of approximately 199 million Swedish kroner. Here to tell us more is the company's CEO, Søren Bregenholt. Welcome, sir. Thank you, Michael. I'd like to start out for the, for the ones who aren't familiar with Alligator Bioscience. What is your main mission? So Alligator's main mission is to develop uh, immune stimulatory molecules that can help patients fight their own cancer, especially cancers that are hard to treat by uh, normal treatments. You've been off to a busy start mm -hmm. of the year, as I mentioned in, so, yeah. in the intro. Uh, barely two days after the turn of the year, you presented the positive interim results with your optimized one phase two trial mm -hmm. with uh, mitazolumab, uh, and that was in pancreatic cancer. Could you tell us a little bit about how those results uh, have shaped the, uh, the ongoing process with Alligator's pipeline? Yeah, so first of all, those data were very, very encouraging. We showed that the metazolumab uh, in combination with the chemotherapy uh, increased the response rate of patients from approximately 32, 33% to, to more than 50. And we showed that 90% uh, of the patients that got the combination of chemotherapy and metazolumab either saw their tumor shrinking or their tumor uh, stopped growing. So very, very encouraging data. And that, of course, has uh, led us to uh, sort of reaffirm our commitment uh, in the potential of, uh, of metazolumab, both clinically and commercially, to, to continue investing in, uh, in the product, to continue and finalize the phase two study that we're doing, but also start uh, intensifying our preparation for the molecule to phase three. And that actually brings me to another piece of news that came out recently, and that's the FDA approval for Optimize 2 that recently came, that came and that's again with uh, mitazolumab. Um, could you tell us a little bit more about Optimize 2? Yeah, so first of all, it, it's always encouraging to get the FDA's clearance of, uh, of, of your molecule, the CMC, all the, all, and your clinical plans, of course. Mm -hmm. Optimize 2 is a, a second phase 2 study, this time in, uh, in metastatic bladder cancer, uh, here in combination with, uh, with the checkpoint inhibitors, uh, a trial where we believe that, uh, that metazolumab will also do very well. Uh, we're currently focusing on uh, finalizing Optimize 1, that is uh, the, the key priority for Alligator. So we, we will probably not start the Optimize 2 until uh, the first half of next year. The collaborations are a huge part of Alligator's mm -hmm. business strategy, and you have several mm -hmm. ongoing. Uh, you, you recently uh, came out with news uh, regarding a collaboration with Aptevo Therapeutics. Mm -hmm. uh, could you tell us a little bit about, uh, about that? Yeah, so that's around uh, the molecule that we for short call 527, uh, which is a bispecific antibody, a tumor-targeted uh, immune stimulatory antibody that uh, we have developed uh, together with Aptivo since uh, two 2017. And, and we are now taking that molecule into the, the first phase one trial in, uh, in tumor types that overexpress a certain molecule called 5T4 that is uh, specifically uh, activating uh, 527. Mm -hmm. And uh, we see this as, uh, as, a, as an approach for Alligator to uh, develop novel molecules, innovative molecules to help patients in a, in a manner that uh, reduces our own cost burn, reduces our risks, but also allows us to uh, combine technologies and capabilities to generate greater molecules. Mm -hmm. Could you speak a little bit about the, uh, how in general these collaborations add value to Alligator Bioscience? Yeah, so, so actually you, you, can, uh, you can divide them into, we have uh, the agreement with Aptivo, which is uh, really cost sharing, risk sharing, and uh, joint forces in terms of bringing the better molecules forward. That, that's, that's one way of doing it. It gives us more opportunities for the same, uh, for the same resources, you can say. Mm -hmm. And then we have uh, the big collaboration with Orion, which is a Finnish biotech company where they license our technologies and we are discovering antibodies for them to then uh, bring forward on their own uh, in, the, in the later stages of those molecules. Mm -hmm. This type of uh, agreement gives us uh, both uh, short and long-term uh, non-dilutive cash flow into the company. And uh, as I mentioned in the intro, you're carrying out a rights issue, 199 million mm -hmm. Swedish kroner. Uh, what is the plan for the proceeds coming from this? That's a very important question. So first of, uh, of all, the majority of the proceeds will go to the continued development of metazolumab. So that's uh, completing the study, 
uh, in pancreatic cancer, which, by the way, is fully recruited, and we expect to uh, see interim data uh, mid-year and expect the top-line data uh, early Q1 next year. Mm -hmm. So that's, of course, part of the proceeds. Then we will continue uh, making the drug ready for phase uh, for phase three. We will continue our uh, engagement with the regulatory authorities, both in the U.S. and uh, in Europe. So that's sort of the majority of the proceeds. Mm -hmm. Then we will allocate some proceeds to the ongoing phase one study uh, with 527, the collaboration with Aptivo. And then we will spend some money on uh, bringing some of our other preclinical candidates forward, a molecule called uh, 4066, mm -hmm. which we see as a long-term growth driver for alligator. So that's sort of the three main buckets that uh, that the proceeds will be allocated against. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, as I mentioned at the beginning, you've had a busy start to 2023. Uh, will you get a chance to take a breather in the rest of 2023? No, there's no time to uh, to chill, so to speak. Uh, there is a lot to be done. We have uh, the optimized one study to be uh, finalized. We have uh, phase three plans to uh, to prepare. Mm -hmm. We have uh, partnering discussions on metacellum map that that, that we need to uh, intensify. So a lot of focus there. And then, as I said, we are running uh, phase one studies on with other candidates. We are. Uh, doing uh, translation research on molecules like 4066. So there is a lot to be done, and uh, we'll just continue. Yeah, sounds good. And that was our conversation with Alligator Biosciences CEO, Søren Bregenholt. Thank you so much, Søren, for joining us in the studio today. Thank you, Michael. It's always a pleasure.